and Brakti Hawa Brakata Yahosha Brakti Hawa Brakata Yahosha Bahashim Rakakwadash double honor to the apostles the elders salutations to you sincere brothers teaching and truth and in sincerity lesson will be entitled the conspiracy of Yahosha my source Etiman and conspiracy goes into the origin of conspire and conspire is defined as to agree, unite, plot, literally to breathe together. Two individuals or more that have a common goal, they are conspiring together. Okay? They must be in the same mindset. For the goal attainment. That's the reason why they agree, unite, or plot, or literally breathe together. Okay? Everybody on earth conspires in something. For example, a NFL football team that agree during preseason that the goal for the team is to win the NFL championship, they are conspiring together. If a man and a woman agree to get married next summer on such and such date and time, they are conspiring together. If you have two parents and a son who agree once the son is graduated from the 12th grade. He is going to Michigan State. They are conspiring together. Okay? And again, the only way you can conspire together, you must have the same mindset. You must be in the same spirit. That's why you see for conspire, see spirit. Okay. Conspiracy goes into conspire and conspire means to agree, unite, plot, literally to breathe together. These individuals are being unified for a goal. Again, lesson will be entitled The Conspiracy of Yahusha. <clears throat> Matthew 1 and 21 And she, referring to Mary, shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Yahusha, for he shall save his people from their sins. All right? And the Savior's true name is Yahusha. And Yahusha is defined as Yah means He, Yahusha, Savior for the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. His name is not Jesus. He was Hebrew and not Greek. Question Who is Yahusha conspiring with? John chapter 17 and verse 1. These words spoke Yahweh and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify your son that your son also may glorify you. Our heavenly father's name is Yahweh. Yah means he, Hawa is to be. Or he exists. Okay. This conspiracy started. The conspiracy of Yahusha started amongst Yahweh and Yahusha. Okay. Let's jump down. Verse 2. 
verse 2. As you have given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. Verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know you, the only true power, and Yahweh whom you have sent. Verse 4. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work. You, Salakia, so like I have finished the work which you gave me to do. This conspiracy or the conspiracy of Yahweh started amongst Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Verse 5. So, who else is down with this conspiracy? Revelation 14 and verse 4. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they, they is referring to the 144,000, the government body for the nation of Israel in the kingdom to come, right? Which follow the Lamb whithersoever he go. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits, superior, okay, of their class regarding the nation of Israel unto the Most High and to the Lamb. All right. So the conspiracy started amongst Yahweh and Yahweh Shah and the hundred and forty four thousand. Are down with it. First Corinthians twelve and verse twelve for as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that one body being many. Are one body, so also is Mashiach. Let's read this again. First Corinthians 12 and 12. For as the body is one and have many members, and all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Mashiach. This means what? The 144,000 makes up the body of Yahweh. Okay? And the 144,000 is broken down. 12,000 chosen men in each tribe. Read Revelation, the seventh chapter. Okay. Again, the conspiracy of Yahweh started amongst Yahweh and Yahweh and the 144,000 are down with it. John chapter 17 and verse 23. Let's start at verse 21. And this is Yahweh speaking. That they all may be one as you. Father art in me and I in you. That they also may be one in us. That the world may believe that you have sent me. This means what? Yahweh and Yahweh Shah and the elect. Okay, are conspiring together via the Holy Spirit. Okay, via the Holy Spirit. Verse 22. Let me read 21 again. That they all may be one as thou, 
Father, art in me, and I in thee, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you have sent me. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them, that they may be one, even as we are one. This is an example of a conspiracy, defining the conspiracy of Yahweh Shah. Right? See, you have to be in the same spirit in order to conspire. So, what is the goal of this conspiracy that started with Yahweh and Yahweh Shah that trickled down to the 144,000? Matthew chapter 10 and verse 7. And as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The goal is the kingdom of heaven. Which also can be called the kingdom of Yahweh Shah. A physical kingdom on earth ruled by Yahweh Shah. And the 144,000. A dominion. A kingdom, a rulership, going into the blessing Jacob received from Isaac. Okay? Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings shall the Most High of heaven set up a kingdom. A kingdom. Referring to the kingdom. The kingdom. Okay. Which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be loved to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Okay? The conspiracy of Yahweh Shai, which started amongst Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, trickling down to the 144,000. This conspiracy. Okay? Is going into the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of Yahweh Shah. This is the goal. And what makes us one, Lord will, we are the elect, is via the Holy Spirit, which give us the same mindset such as Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Lord will, you are edified, Shalom.